Hello guys! This is one more video for the examples of UI testing. We decided to treat you with some more examples so you can have more ideas of what should be tested when you're testing on your own. I'm here logged in in the same application and I went on this page leave leave list because there's some interesting material on this side that I want to show you. Uh, in the last video we mentioned just a few things about the date pickers and how they should be tested. We were mainly uh, talking about the uh, UI, what does this look like, the colors and, and stuff like that. But now I'm going to tell you a few test cases that should be tested when talking about the date pickers and especially when you have like this from to form. So here uh, what we should test and of course I'm going to repeat one more time that all of this should be stated in the design and in the requirements that you got from the client. Um, so here it states that the state format must be a year, month and a day. So one of the first things that you should check for the state pickers is when you first time land on this page and you see this like, like a tooltip, like a, a, a placeholder. This is some kind of a uh, placeholder to type for hints, but this is kind of supported format. They want you to know uh, what is the supported format. So when you first time enter here, uh, let's see what is the default value of the month and the year. So we suppose if the requirement was when you first time enter the date picker, um, and no date is selected, you're going to show the current month and the year. So that's one of the things that you should test. Then when some date is selected, for example, 1st of the September, is that date correctly inputted here and is it in the in the format that was stated here? First is the year, month and the day. Okay, that's one more thing that should be tested. Now when I enter the date picker one more time, the next time, is that selected date somehow noted. Here we can see that is in white color. Maybe it cannot be seen now clearly because we don't have days before it, but for example if I click on 8th of September and when I enter again I can see that that selected date is somehow marked so it can be differentiated from all other days. That's one more thing that should be checked. So is the day differentiated from all other days in this month. What next? Since we're talking about the format the day support, we're going to try to, uh, so we, we have uh, multiple ways of entering the date. One of the uh, ways is to select it through the date picker, we select a month, we select a year, and it's selected. Uh, the other way is to do it manually here or to try to copy paste I just copy paste it okay that's one of the things that you also should check can I copy paste the valid values and now one more thing uh, is let's try to put it in the different format like can I type in like something like this this would be, if this would be the date, month, and year, uh, is that supported? No, we can see it's in the red color, and when we close this bait picker, there is a validation message that should be in a valid date in this, in this format. So that is uh, one of the things that should be checked if it's on the design, that validation message, if we enter the um, date here incorrectly, um, do we get some validation message? Okay, what else we can do? Uh, we can stick to the correct format, but we can try to input some unexisting date, like 2021, and uh, next is a month, so we can put the February, and we can put uh, 30th of February, no, it doesn't exist. 
it will again show us the message that should be in a valid date in this format. So it should be a valid date and it should be in this format. Those are the two criteria criterias that should be followed in order to have a valid data in this input field. So here you got like few cases that should be checked. Now um, that's when we're talking about one specific uh, field that uh, receives dates as a, a data. But if we have this form two, there are a bunch of other uh, test scenarios that can be included. Like usually one of the first things that should uh, you that you should think of is can I put the from date to be after the to date? If I say okay, let's put the tenth of September from and first of the September to. Okay, what did we have here? To date should be after from date. Of course, that's logical. Let's try to do the vice versa. If we firstly fill in this field and then this field, we're going to say, OK, let's put this as a second September and this as uh, 17th. It still states that today should be after the from date. But if we clear out this all and start from fresh, and we fill in this first, like 1st of the September and 10th of September, we don't get any validation message. And in this case, from date is after the to date. And that uh, should be stated somewhere, for example, af uh, below this first field. But we can see here a bug because it seems like that the developers made this uh, triggering of validations when we finish with the second field. You're going to see it right now. When I click in the second field and move the focus out of it, there will be a validation message. So here we found a bug because validation messages should be triggered whenever there is an invalid set of data. It shouldn't be dependent on the sequence of filling in the data. Did I first put in the from or to date? Validation messages should be in their place. OK, um, that's pretty much about the dates. Uh, what else? We can see these drop downs. How do they look like? Do they have all proper values? Are they? Um, is, is, there, is something missing and here we can see the range of the years and we can try if there's some kind of advanced search here we don't have it but for example if I type in 2 on my keyboard they will uh, move my focus to this 2000 year so one of the things that could be checked also okay guys this was about the date pickers I hope you learned something useful, something new. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and wait for more useful contents. You can post any question on our videos and we will answer it. See you in the next video. Goodbye.